so we're back. Back to Pez Espada in Torre Molinos for the third time because I love its style. And while not as exclusive as it was when it opened in 1959, it's back to beautiful. They renovated but kept and restored all the original features. So the Thousand Island floor is still there. So are the Cubist frescoes. So are the funky pillars and all the different kinds of stone and wood. And the photos of various film stars who stayed here. My favorite staircase in the whole wide world got a bit of a polish. And these might be the very same people still in that bar where Frank Sinatra once got slapped on the face by a Cuban singer. They've done a great job with this renovation, except they took away my favorite fish, the swordfish that went... Now it only survives on the cover of the old guest book in the lobby. The new logo, I don't know, is it laughing? Or did they just half cut off its head? Hmm. So, what's new? Well, the rooms are, but I'll show you that a little later. The restaurant downstairs got a much needed lick of paint, so it's now sort of a fishy 1950s diner, but still stylish. Guests staying in suites now have a separate dining area overlooking the seafront. Of the main lobby, a previously empty space became a lounge for those very same guests, where you can read a newspaper, have your private barista make you a coffee, get some soft drinks or grab a tiffin. That is a snack. From the lounge you can also access this area with some sunbeds and a separate set of beach showers. It does get rather hot out here, but it's a little bit more private and secluded than the pool area or the beach. When we were last here, two people drowned in one of the hotels nearby, which is maybe why this pool is now fenced off outside of the opening hours and lifeguarded during the day. Pool is large and very popular, which I seriously don't get given that the sea is just there, but guess takes all sorts. The children's pool, now in the back, also got a big upgrade. Oh, beach and pool towels are available for guests free of charge, unless you decide to keep some. Sadly, the trampolines that we enjoyed last time have been replaced with a boring play structure. Boo! But on the plus side, they added a funky foot track and renovated both the outside restaurant patios. The fitness room is much improved. Of course, nobody uses it all the same. And the parade of tack shops right at the front of the main lobby is now a cozy rest area. The food is still very good. I mean, guacamole for breakfast, yoo-hoo! Got strawberry and ice cream. We got the stick with it. Got marshmallows. Goodbye. 
Oh yeah, and there's a show every night. <laughs> That's all very well, you'll say, but show me the rooms. Okay, well here you go. This is a regular room in the original block. It's all new, beautifully done up in keeping with the hotel's 1950s pedigree. Without the extra bed, it's quite sizable. It's not like you're here to sit in your room, right? Especially as the Wi-Fi is a little bit temperamental. Might be a Spanish thing. There's a lot of storage space, a fridge. The only thing is they don't seem to have added any power points and certainly no USB charging points. Right, bathroom, all new, nice and clean, shower is hot and powerful. Uh, the only complaint is uh, there's nowhere to put your stuff really. And you also get this very decently sized balcony with sea view with a washing line. Okay, so how does a junior suite compare? Well, these also have been completely renovated in the same 1950s, 1960s style. So, gone is the eclectic collection of furniture and the swimming pool sized bath in the bathroom. But hey, you can still see them in the video linked at the end of this one. The facilities are pretty much the same as in a regular room including the charging points so remember you need a european plug and it's 220 kilovolts in that socket fridge is a little wonky and so it leaks a bit bathroom is much larger than in the normal room and so is the shower although the open design means you'll end up with an indoor pool on the floor every time you use it the other thing is there is no soap you get bath gel and shampoo just work it out as these rooms all face the sea the biggest bonus is the view this every day all day nice and well i suppose that's it recommend this hotel definitely i guess that's good to pay this spot Hmm, or maybe not just yet, cause we haven't been to the beach, so I'll see you there next time. Gremlin on the road. Thank you for choosing Cardish Airways. We hope that you can swim and free because we have no life boats, life jackets, and no overhead airbags. I can't stare at the camera.